And by the way, that wasn't just a demo. That was, turn to page 20. We should be on this page right now. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> it's Where is it? <laughs> so let's talk Bill Glasser. I think Bill Glasser is a brilliant man, written an entire series of books. In the book, The Quality School Teacher, Glasser identified five basic student needs which must be met in the classroom. You meet these five needs, again, happy, productive. So let's fill in some boxes. In one of those boxes, would you write the word safety? Are you safe? Is your classroom safe? And if I'm no longer snapping, I just said what page that makes the room slightly safer. In another box, would you write the word freedom? Which we've mentioned several times today. Freedom as a student need. Here's a really good word to associate with freedom when we're talking freedom in the classroom. It's just choice, allowing kids to make choices. Research says it's the choices students make that build their character. Better even than a character ed program. Allowing kids to make choices. Now, overachievers, can we skip past the empty box for a moment? Are we okay with that? Can we let that go? All right. We'll get back. All right. Now, here are the core principles again. Bless you. And let's just talk number one and see why it's number one. See what the research says. All right. 99, Pert and Campbell did a huge study on student achievement. Found out there are three really big things that impact achievement. And by the way, if you're a note taker, you don't have to take these notes. Let me show you. This is my website. If you just Google Rick Morris, it comes right up. But at the bottom of the main page are some picture links, and one of them is called As Seen at Seminars. Click on that. You'll find all the info about the student achievement piece. In fact, if you go to my website for the first time, I recommend you click on As Seen at Seminars. You'll recognize a lot of the links. A lot of them. Hey, there's a link that shows you how to set up the wireless laptop iPad thing in your classroom. So you can broadcast on your own. Apple TV. If you've got a bad network at your school, for about 20 bucks, you can buy a Wi-Fi router and make your own private network in your room. That won't take you online but allows your devices to talk to the big screen. And when the school's network goes down, you're still teaching. That's all explained as seen at seminars. 16 page guide, how to do it. Okay, so those three, to these degrees, we've played this game before. Let's try it again. Which label goes with which piece? 60 seconds. All right, let's see what the research says. If I may, that's depressing. All that hard work and that's what we get? Really? Really? Just bear in mind, we're all so blue. We own most of the pie. It's in our hands. But look how big blue is all by itself doesn't mean we can sit around singing kumbaya and they're all proficient. <laughs> but I think this statement sums it up really well. Very sobering statement. Especially those last two lines. And that's why that is number one on the list of six of them. And if I ask new teachers, first year teachers, where are you guys? First year? Wow, that's awesome. That is awesome. We got you guys back. You've been, you've been gone for a while. We weren't seeing a lot of new teachers. Glad to see you guys coming back. There is a huge teacher need in our country right now. Huge teacher need. But you remember the uh, credential program and the emotional roller coaster of your first year? Remember that one? It's a lovely graphic. It starts off with anticipation. Then you start teaching and you basically step off a cliff and you're just going straight <laughs> down. And you're in survival mode. And then it bottoms out about November, December, January. They call it disillusionment, but it's not. It's depression, except that fact. <laughs> so I'm just going to warn you, well, we're past the dark days now. We're past the dark days, but next year when you're in that November, December, and the days get dark sooner and all those things have an impact on us, and you find yourself still at school, 
overwhelmed by a million and one things. It's already dark outside. Start to question your life choice. <laughs> Just think about this. And that's why we do what we do. If you're a veteran teacher, you've got students right now who carry you around in their heart. I always think about my 8th grade speech teacher, 8th and 9th grade. Wonderful man. Whenever I was back in my hometown, I'd always go see him. Phenomenal guy. We all have that teacher we're thinking about. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, hit that thumbs up button down below. Hit the subscribe button so you get all the videos that will be coming your way. And something else to think about, maybe share one of these strategies with a teacher at your own site. So again, thanks for watching.